Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are here to see a two life span parameter. I've been uh, helping uh, a guy lately, so I thought it was helpful for pretty much everybody. And here we are. Let's start immediately. We use the navigator to go in tools. And here, I mean, you can modify an existing tool or create a new one. It doesn't matter. The only thing you, uh, you will have to do in order to specify the lifespan is to go under the where tab and here we can find the parameter so what do we need to specify here millimeters that this tool will be able to travel before considering it dull or inches in case you are using the software in inches let's um, just uh, as an example create 500,000, uh, one, two, three, yeah, 500,000, which is basically 500 meters. We can save. At this point, since uh, this moment on, the software will start uh, counting every time we use the tool on the machine. And uh, let me go back so we can show here it will start the counter. Of course, you can't change the counter. That is uh, basically autonomous and, like I said, is managed by the, the PLC. Whenever you are using the tool, it's going to start counting according to basically the geometries because we always know how long is the geometry that you, know, you are using uh, to apply the machining. So every time you use the tool, of course, not in simulation. You physically have to run the machine in order for the counter to work properly. But uh, now let me cheat a little bit. I'm not going to show what I'm doing, but at least we can see how to reset eventually the counter. So let's say this tool reached the specified tool span. Bear with me. All right, save, so cancel. Close, I'm gonna close and open the tool again so it, it can uh, basically be refreshed. We go again and here it is. So we reached magically the tool uh, lifespan. At this point, how do I reset the counter? We can uh, use uh, this uh, function uh, here on the top uh, left corner, tool sharpening. And uh, here you need to specify, of course, uh, as a positive uh, value, the corrector for the diameter and the length. what the software uh, is going to do when you specify those basically is going to update automatically the diameter and the length according to the value you are using in these two fields so let's say that the material removed from the diameter of the tool was 0 0.2 millimeters we just specify that same thing for the length. It was removed, I don't know, always 0 0.2 or whatever else it has to be. We confirm and at this point, the software will automatically update diameter and length according to these two values. But you can say, okay, I don't want to do that because I replaced my tool with a new one, with a brand new one. So my diameter is not changing and the length uh, is not going to be only that because it depends how much uh, maybe shorter because I push the tool a little bit more in or it can be longer because I pulled it out a little bit, the new one. So in this case, let's say we don't want to change diameter or length, the software, let's 
go back actually uh, cancel and start over so we can see we want to leave everything at zero so we confirm and guess what nothing happens why because the software wants to see a change in order to reset the counter it's not going to work if you leave everything at zero so if we don't want to change diameter or length we need to cheat a little bit so we need to specify something here and then change the field go down at this point the software detected that there was a change so i i can just go back put everything at zero again and confirm at this time as you can see the counter was reset and of course you are always able to change diameter and working length from here from the general data tab so it is simple as that i hope this video can be helpful for you guys and stay tuned for more videos